and welcome. My name is Kyle from the Wind, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today, we are back with another map guide video, and today we're taking a look at the map Tuscan, which you guys can see right here. Now, a lot of people don't really like this map that much in this game, but I actually am a fan of it. I don't think that it's the greatest map in this game by any means, but I don't think that it is the worst map or anything like that. I actually do quite enjoy it. Um, so as you guys can see, it is sort of a three-lane map with a whole bunch of uh, routes to it, obviously, uh, which we'll go into depth here in a minute. But of course, first, what we're going to be doing is showing you guys all of the most popular areas of the map and then showing you guys as many spawns that I can think of. So I'll go ahead and put all of the popular areas on the map right now for you guys to see. And again, they revol revolve mostly around the middle buildings as well as over to the top of the mini map and over to the sort of bottom left uh, so, or left middle, if that makes any sense. But again, the red circles are there. So if you guys are confused, then those are um, all, all right there for you. Uh, next, for all the spawn points, I'll go ahead and put all those on the screen right now for you guys that I could think of. Again, these are subject to change as well as there could be more than what you guys see here. But overall, these are some of the spawn points or the more popular spawn points here on the map. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this map guide. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a double whammy today because again, as you guys know, season one goes live tomorrow, which is the Warzone map. The actual full season doesn't go live until I think either tomorrow night or, uh, or maybe, yeah, no, tomorrow night for sure, because it said 20 hours left and it is currently uh, 1.48 in the afternoon. So it will be going live on Thursday morning, I believe. Um, so, but we will be getting the Warzone map tomorrow, and I just want to get all these map guide videos out of the way, so I'll have a Tuscan map guide now, obviously, for you guys, and then later today, I'll have the decoy map guide for you. So, we're going to go ahead and head over to the right over that way, because it's a little less complicated. So, let's go ahead and get into this. So, starting off here from spawn, again, the C objective is right here, and from this point, I can go through uh, this area here, which takes me to right there, or I can run through here, which takes me into the middle of the map. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and cover over here first. So uh, running over here, again, not a whole lot happens here. You can't even mantle on that. Um, you can use this doorway to get through here to this building here. I can also run through here and get over to this place, which has a whole bunch of line of sight. So I can get a line of sight to enemies there and get a line of sight to enemies on that head glitch there. Enemies that are there on both sides of that tree. Enemies that are there. I can also use this head glitch right here to my advantage for enemies walking through this uh, little pathway there, as well as to get a little bit of a better view on enemies that are over there, which is very, very awesome. Now, if I climb up here, this gives me a line of sight or a sort of a surprise line of sight. Pardon me to enemies right there. And I can also head glitch, or sorry, mount right here, which gives me an even higher advantage because again, uh, mounting significantly significantly reduces the recoil on all weapons so by being right here i can easily take out all those enemies which is pretty dang awesome now if i run through here this basically takes me to the middle of the map where uh, quite a bit of the action goes down but a lot of the times the action is from enemies that are up there as well as up there and as up there and over there as well so and even from right here if that window is open i can even shoot through that a little bit and destroy it i can even get a line of sight to enemies that are standing over by b if I get here at the right time, but for the most part, again, this is basically just a good way to get a view over to enemies here and in this area. Now, if I come back over this way, this basically just takes me back over to uh, this, the second spawn point or the second main spawn point of the map where the C objective is right here. And again, as I said, that's why I covered this area over here, because again, it, we went through it very, very quickly and are already over to here. Now I can run all, all the way back here. Again, there's really no purpose left to maybe call in a streak. But the only streak that you can call in, that you actually call in with the, is the, you know, the glide bomb. That actually takes you to a different screen. The glide bomb is the only streak in the game that does that. Every other streak, you just call in right away. So, you know, I could call in a glide bomb back here. That's pretty much it. If I go through this doorway here into this sort of wine cellar area, this just takes me down to here as well as could take me up to here. But again, there's really no, you know, strategic point to this spot unless you're being just heavily spawn trapped but a lot of the times that doesn't really happen so mo one of the more things that i wanted to focus here in this video is just more of the roots because this is a while it is a three lane map it's a multi-tiered three lane map so what i mean by that is that as you guys can see there's a kind of a ground floor here and then it goes straight into a higher area which is interesting so um, if i go down here this can take me down to this route which is actually kind of smart especially if you know that there's an enemy up there 
and it can take me to right here, which if there's an enemy up there, I can take them off guard pretty easily. And again, I can climb up this roof and take out enemies that are there, as well as maybe shoot some enemies in the back that are right here, which is pretty awesome. I can also mantle up on this as well, and I can even mantle over on this also. So just keep that in mind that you, you can find enemies down here, which does help out in a flanking route and also something to keep in mind if you are right here. And again, I didn't mention that the A flag is right over here by the fountain. So if you have the, or if the enemies have the B and C objective, you're gonna be spawning right there. Now over from here, I can basically come down here, and get an overview to enemies that might be over there in the middle of the map, as well as enemies that are right here, which is pretty useful. And then I can run into here where we get into our first destructible environment. So this is where the B objective is. So as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, there was a red circle here because this is one of the more crazy areas of the map. A lot of enemies will spend time in here, especially because, again, this is where the main objective is of the map. And even in modes like TDM, Kill Confirmed, etc., there's a lot of action that happens here because, again, it is sort of one of those, one of those routes that uh, is one of those lanes, one of the main lanes of the map that allows you to sort of flank a little bit. So, now I can break this destructible environment right here, which the only really good part about this destructible environment is it lets, allows me to sort of get enemies that are coming up these stairs here, as well as enemies that are down there. And I can even use this to drop down and take out enemies that might not know I'm there, which is pretty awesome. Again, I can open this, which I showed you guys earlier, get a line of sight to enemies that are there on that head glitch as well as enemies that are coming down through this route, which does happen from, which does happen quite a bit, to be completely honest with you guys, especially in Domination. Here is another destructible environment right here, which is, you know, there's, well, you know, there's not very many destructible environments on this map, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. You know, there are usually a lot of them, but this one doesn't have very many, which is awesome. This one is pretty much always destroyed, but it is definitely useful because it basically gives you another entrance to this building but again keep in mind that there could be enemies sitting right there in that corner as well as enemies over here in that corner and yeah overall this is just a pretty useful destructible environment to destroy now if we come over through this way this takes us to the middle of the map where there's more destructible environments as well and the purpose of these destructible environments and the reason that you would destroy them is because it gives me a basically a 360 degree not quite 360 degrees probably you know, probably like 280 degrees or something like that view of enemies that are coming through there, as well as enemies that are up there and up there. If this isn't destroyed, you know, I can just use these windows as that area and as that head glitch. But what's great about destroying this destructible environment is it gives me just more of a view, but it also gives me less cover. So destroy this if you, uh, you know, destroy this with will, I guess is the best way to say it. Because again, just keep in mind that if you do destroy this, that you're also more vulnerable, but you can also get a larger line of sight to enemies. Now again, coming through here, we can go ahead and head down the stairs, which takes us over to this area of the map, which again has a doorway, as well as a window, which you can of course sit up on if you are uh, if you know enemies are coming through here, or you know, just in general, if you are a campier player. But again, this, that, that, whoa, that was cool. I guess I just, I slid through that window on accident. Huh, that was really strange. Anyways, let's just forget about that. That was really weird. Um, but anyways, again, same line of sight to enemies up there. And one thing that I actually have done before is you can actually climb up on these stairs. If you know enemies are coming through here, you can just sit right here on these stairs. Boom, take them out, and there you go. You got yourself a free kill. And then this takes you to the middle, which again, I never recommend. But there are a couple of options when I get here. I can either use these to climb up onto this building right here, which I actually have to climb up on there, and then open it which is pretty risky and then I can jump through. So yeah, take the, you have to be very, very careful. Obviously, again, as I said, I can climb up here, but if this window is not open, then I am pretty much screwed. I can jump over there like that also, but I can also, I can't get up there unfortunately. So my only option is to just run through here and then, or run straight through the middle into this area. But again, I wouldn't recommend coming over here. It's just pretty risky. There's just a lot of areas to get shot from probably five or six of them and again just being in the middle of the map especially in this little square area just really isn't the best idea i mean you could i guess you could theoretically when you spawn you could just come right here mount on this and then take out an enemy that's coming through there but even that doesn't really work that well so wouldn't, again just never recommend i never recommend going into the middle of the map it's just really too risky and you're, you're just going to get a lot of frustrating deaths and that's never fun now coming back actually over here real quick to this building um, if I climb up here, 
and climb over here like this. This takes me over to A. And again, be very, very careful like what I'm doing now with how I'm playing this. Got to keep my sights up knowing that enemies will be coming through here, especially if they're spawning over at A. Just keep that in mind because enemies do come through here quite a, quite often. And also keep in mind for enemies sitting in this corner. There has been times where I just ran through here and focused on the stairs and then got shot in the back. So again, keep in mind that there could be enemies sitting in that corner as well. Now coming over to here, we're in one of the more set. We're in pretty much one of the second or third more popular areas of the map. And I mean, a lot of action happens here. And I mean, a lot of action happens here. Uh, the main reason for that, as I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, is that there's a spawn point right here. So if I'm spawning here and I run through here, I'm pretty much already getting close to the middle of the map where a lot of enemies come through. So they come through here, of course. They come through that wind that doorway and they come through here like this also. So this is a very, very popular area of the map. There's also some enemies or coming up here is a really, really good spot. This basically gives you a opposite overview to enemies there, as well as down there and down there, and even enemies that are coming across from right there, which is pretty useful. Again, being up here, I can get line of sight to enemies coming through this hallway, which I have done a lot. And I can also get a line of sight to enemies that are over there, as well as over there and up there. So again, a lot of people will camp up here. So you have to be very, very careful coming into the middle. If you go over to there, I recommend mounting on that wall to take out an enemy that's camping up here. Or just ignore them entirely and do a flank maneuver because those do work quite often. And my flank maneuver is going to go over through there, over to the B objective, and then come up these stairs. Again, another destructible environment right here. This one is pretty much always destroyed as well. It just, again, it just gives you another line of sight to enemies that are coming through here. As well as vice versa, if I'm up here, it gives me another line of sight to enemies that are also right there. Which is, again, pretty dang useful. Now again, coming through here again. Be careful of enemies sitting there, as well as enemies sitting back there on that window. <clears throat> Head glitch right here. And then aim down sights to enemies over there as well. So, with all that being said, we can go ahead and head back over here. And now this is where, again, this sort of tiered map system comes into play. So, this area really doesn't have much of a purpose. There's very, very little action that happens here. Occasionally, you will find some enemies that are over here that are just but what they're doing is they're trying to get over to this central area of the map because that's where most of the action happens um so if you find yourself over here this is just a really 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 good spot to uh, take out enemies because again they're probably not going to know you're there and they're probably using this just as a sole focus to try and get over here one thing you can do is you can mount on this wall right here to take out enemies that are at b as well as right there which is pretty useful because again a lot of times enemies will not really pay much attention to you i mean they will see you and stuff like that but a lot of the times they're going to be focusing more over here which is way more popular and way more predictable than over here which is a little bit less predictable so if you keep your sights up around here it's actually going to be more useful to you versus if you're over here trying to take them out from down there which is pretty awesome so again coming down to here again this basically just takes us to the other spawn point again unless you know enemies are spawning over at c <clears throat> pardon me this area really has no purpose <clears throat> except as a route to get into the other part of the map and then again i can run through here as well keep in mind enemies up there as well as up there and then i can use this little these crates to jump up through here to get over to this part of the map and that is pretty much it again a lot uh, not very much happens here this is a way to get into this building over here or the main church area again just from the other way i can go through this door as well as climb up that ladder but again down here and right here is mostly just a route to try and get a flank route or to get into the main parts of the map not a lot of action happens here but just if you're over here and you find yourself over here just keep in mind that there could be enemies over here specifically over there and it could work as a pretty dang good flank. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this map guide video. I think I pretty much covered everything. And as you guys can see, this map really isn't as complicated compared to other maps in the game. This one is actually fairly minimally complicated compared to maps like compared to maps like Berlin, which is my longest map guide video because there's literally a destructible environment everywhere. Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this map guide. Hopefully, it was able to help you out. If it did. 
make sure to leave a like rating or if it didn't help you out make sure to leave a comment with some constructive criticism so i know how to improve these for the future of vanguard because i will be covering the dlc maps as well in this map guide series whenever i can um, but anyway guys if you did enjoy the video like i always appreciate it if you want to check out any of my other previous map guide videos they will all be linked down below if you can put it in the description for the previous episode will be at the end of the video as well i'll see you guys all another call of duty vanguard video very very soon